So Casey and I wanted to throw an anime themed Halloween party this year, however we very poorly planned everything. We got two days until the party and we don't really have a lot of stuff. We ordered some stuff on Amazon, we don't think it's going to be really enough to weave this place out. So we're going to go out and about trying. <laughs> you son of a pug. But we're going to go out today, try and weave this place out, DIY a whole bunch of stuff and really make it look cool. So we hopped in the car, dropped Romo off at his grandparents, and went to our go-to spot for looking for anime merch, the mall. By the way, don't let malls die. It's like when you die during sex. Oh my god. <laughs> I like, I'm still just like mesmerized by go Gil's eyes. <laughs> Look, Anthony, pimp my noodles. I found a soup in my finger. What if you read that fast? <laughs> You're just like, I got it. I'm convinced Rosie's a pug. I like how Attack on Titan shirt. But I was looking for I that don't shirt. See I it. Medium and large on uh, the XL from fat. We never see Koro Sensei shit anywhere. We are so getting this. Don't even care about the party. We could put it up for the party. Yeah. <laughs> But it's for us. The Sukuna Finger, that gives me an idea to maybe make Sukuna Fingered flavored foods of some sort. <laughs> fingered um, flavored? Well fling, <laughs> flinger? Finger flavored. Wait, oh my gosh, I said it again. A finger, something that looks like a finger, but it's edible, but it's not a finger. Oh my okay. gosh. <laughs> I'm still down for the assassination bathroom. Anthony doesn't think we can do it. I don't know how we can do it. I to want be to do a themed bathroom, and it was between that or Attack on Titan, which would be probably easier. But assassination bathroom, <laughs> assassination bathroom. But we were driving, and then we saw this, and we were like, "What's that?" And then we like looked around the front, and we saw a bunch of pops, and we were like, "Whoa!" So now we're going in the store. We got to get a look at these warlocks <laughs> around the corner. Come on. So we didn't end up finding anything that we needed for the party in here, but it was such a cool store that we had to show you some of the stuff in here. So after that quick unplanned pit stop, we made our way over to Party City where we were able to find some Pokemon plates as well as lanterns and some helium before having to wait 30 minutes in line. After that, as it was getting late, we made our way over to the liquor store to grab some cups, which were skull and crossbones, which we're just gonna say was one piece, as well as some strawberry margarita, which we were going to add into some syringes to make some Titan serum, after which we went to Barnes & Nobles to grab a couple issues of some of our favorite animes manga to do a crafts project when we got home, before finally heading over to Michael's to grab some color paper to make Casey's dream of having an assassination bathroom come true. That's how late we are to planning this party. They already put out the Christmas decor. <laughs> so it's midnight, the day of the party, and nothing is done. <laughs> so we're probably gonna be up to the wee hours of the night getting everything situated, but we're gonna split up. So it might go a little bit quicker. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing assassination bathroom. Also look at Anthony, look at her slippers. I can't do it. <laughs> you know it's the slippers. Snorlax slippers. So we didn't do nothing today, or yesterday, I guess, technically now. We bought a whole bunch of different snacks and whatnot. Today, we're gonna be like putting it all together and hopefully trying to get everything done, obviously, before the party starts at seven. So we got a whole bunch of stuff when we went to an anime convention, Anime Matsuri, this past summer. A whole bunch of figures that we're gonna use to decorate. We actually had something I completely forgot we had, but it's gonna help out Casey's assassination bathroom theme. Combine that with the fact that we were able to get this figure at Spencer's yesterday. You have two things to start you off on your journey. The rest I'm gonna make. So me and Casey ordered these, honestly, earlier this year. This Pikachu, and in this bag, should be the husk of a Snorlax. If this comes out the way that we saw it on Amazon, after we put stuffing in it, this should be a six foot tall Snorlax. First things first, Koro Sensei. I feel like, I don't know, <laughs> roll in the background. Oh my gosh. He has a little wound on his tail that he keeps licking. So he has to wear the, the neck pillow. I also have this. So maybe I'll put this. All right. I think that's good so far. I could fit in this damn thing. 
Where the hell is my freaking foot? So we found these stickers on Amazon. They came in a day, so Prime came in clutch. And they were supposed to be Assassination Classroom, but one of those was definitely Todoroki, but it's fine. So I ended up sticking these onto our cabinet, but I thought it looked pretty good. Snore. Relax. Ah, I'm alive. I'm starting to have my doubts whether this foam is gonna be able to fill this shit up. So here I am using a protractor again, which is something I never thought I was gonna do after middle school. I was trying to make different variations of Koro Sensei's face. I'm not very artistic, but I did the best I could. I might have to sacrifice one of our blankets for the cause. After realizing I had nowhere near enough foam, I proceeded to fill Snorlax with anything I could find. Casey wanted to give these to the Goodwill. But I found use for them because I'm a hoarder and I didn't want to get rid of anything. Gosh, it literally barely did shit. <laughs> if necessary, I might throw the brown one in here. Ugh. It's He's like, like a, a little mountain goat. <laughs> no, no it's not, not a toy. <laughs> you, there's no. no way you could have a toy this big. <laughs> You're so small. So I put up my little creations on the mirror, and then we proceeded to cut the pages out of manga. I know it's gonna be a little controversial, but there was a purpose to this, I promise. Ah, that hurt a little inside, but I'm over it. So we also ordered this wisteria on Amazon. We wanted to make an archway out of it. We had no idea how we were gonna hang it up, but these command hooks and strips were so helpful throughout this whole process. Okay, update. It is about to be four in the morning. We're going to bed. Uh, we're gonna wake up, keep working, and shit, I don't know how long it's gonna take. And we're back. It's still, I guess, technically the same day. I was gonna say it's the next day, but it's the same day. We kind of slept in a little bit, but I mean, we went to bed at five in the morning. I uh, woke up at noon, picked up some of the food for later. Now Casey's like getting like uh, the command strips on the poster boards we made last night. And we have four hours until the party and it still doesn't look anywhere near where it should. Yeah. I did it. Yeah, I did too. So we are about to take a lot of these figures that we have for our background and put them all in the kitchen. Sorry, Casey. I saw this cool little hack on Pinterest where you take playing cards and you make a little Hisoka wall looking thing. So I'm gonna try to do that with this area here. Okay, balloon time. Gosh, it's a bitch to tie. <laughs> Colossal Titan. <sighs> there we go. I have officially bled for this party. Can I get a band-aid? <laughs> yeah. So I'm about to start making some of the food or preparing some of the food. We have some options. We're gonna make sukuna fingers. Also, Anthony's blowing up balloons still, so just ignore the sound. We're gonna make sukuna fingers out of pretzels and chocolate. And then we have some pizzas from Papa Murphy's that like you just put in the oven and bake yourself. And we're gonna put olives and pepperonis to make them look like poke balls. We have other little random finger foods and things like that. So we'll just kind of like set those out as we go. Less than an hour left and I'm assembling figures. I'm about to make the little jungle juice punch. It's gonna be based off of Gojo and we're calling it Gojo's purple drink. Not to be confused with purple drink. This is just his purple drink. Like when he does his little domain expansion. You'll see. I feel like I should only do half and half. Like it's like a lot. I don't know. This is wine from our wedding. Always make sure you wash your fruit. I don't know if anybody needs to hear this, but wash your fruit. There's a lot of pesticides in the world. Always wash your fruit. As I'm like, I say, I'm talking about pesticides as I literally am just like pouring fruit into like three bottles of alcohol and like 
four bottles of soda. Then we got into our costumes and the party started. canal de dos cabazos en YouTube, ok? Oh. Ellos son unas buenas personas. Oh. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> no, 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 no